This segment brought to you by SureCrop. Liquid crop nutrition delivered right to your farm. Cattle prices go up, beef prices follow. Cattle prices go down, beef prices remain. A rancher might wonder, what gives? A common question we get from from cattlemen is is they see the they know the price of fed cattle uh, that they're selling to the packer and then they walk into a grocery store and see a, a price per pound that's significantly higher than than the price they sold those fed cattle for and we get that question sometimes of how what's the disconnect? Mark McCulley says don't always assume retail price is driven off the price of goods. There is a cost for everything in between. From the time we sell, say, $1.20 fed cattle uh, to the time the, the packer is then processing those and the costs associated with all of that, to the pieces and parts that they sell on out through all the channels of distribution uh, to retailers and then ultimately to the, to the consumer. Those steps create the great eating experience the consumer craves. The best example is as we look at kind of how that dollar twenty uh, fed cattle can convert to something that as you walk into a grocery store and maybe find a twenty five dollar filet mignon. A fourteen hundred pound steer produces a nine hundred pound carcass that only yields fourteen pounds of tenderloin, just a few pounds that can command high dollars at the counter. It represents less than two percent of the total weight of the carcass, but contributes you know seven to eight percent of the total value. That's important for cattlemen to keep in mind while they make genetic decisions about their herd and decide which traits to emphasize. The demand signals are still really, really good. Um, and as we've increased the quality of the herd, you know, what we've seen is, is the, the packer's ability to have more high quality product, more choice, more certified Angus beef brand, more prime to sell. It's allowed them to, per, to pay more for, for all fed cattle uh, because of, of the, the rising tide, if you will, of, of, of quality and how that sent a very strong signal back all the way through the, through the system. Premiums paid for quality remain strong. I'm Bob Cervera. Hi, I'm Randy. And I'm Paul from PFI. We would like to personally invite you to stop by PFI, home of Boot Daddies. PFI is America's Western store, covering over 50,000 square feet. Over 25,000 boots. Visit Saddle City with the largest selection of saddles and tack anywhere. A huge selection of hats at Vicks Fur Hat Company in PFI Town. And choose from the best brands of clothing and accessories for the entire family. PFI, located on Highway 65 at the Battlefield exit in Springfield. And I'm not kidding. 